Hello everyone, welcome to this exciting series of Design School A, where we are learning everything about prototype interactions. As in the previous video, we studied and mentioned all the triggers of prototype interactions. From this video onwards, we will execute every interaction to give you a clearer idea. This particular video will be focused on on-click or on-tap and on-drag prototype interactions. I will execute both the interactions in this video by giving one example each starting with the on-click interaction. For it, it triggers the action when the user clicks for desktop or taps for mobile on a hotspot in your prototype. You can add click or tap triggers to lots of different elements in a screen. They can also be used when you need a user to click on buttons. To start with the execution on Figma, I've made this frame as an example. We will use the on-tap animation for this mobile sign-up screen. The interaction will be there for the sign-up button. Once you click on the sign-up button, the next screen will open immediately. Now, let's prototype frames to execute the interaction in real. Firstly, click on the prototype section and click on the rectangular button and drag an arrow from that point to the next screen that is to be opened. The interaction details screen will be opened. For the kind of interaction we want for this frame, click on on tap. For the animation details, select smart animate. I will go with easy now transition and I will keep the time to 500. We are done filling out the details. You can customize your screens according to your likings of transition, position and time. Now click on the play button and let's wait to preview the prototype. So here we have a preview. I will click on the sign up button to have the opening screen. Let's go. There you go, we successfully managed to execute the on tap interaction for this frame. Follow the same procedure for any kind of tap or click interactions in your product. Moving forward with the drag interaction, for it, it allows you to perform an action when you drag an element on the screen. This can be the entire frame or a single element like a slider. You can use the on drag in any direction, left, right, up or down. This is great for simple swipe gestures or for more complex animations like a drag to refresh. We will be using these three frames designed to execute the on drag animation. The rectangular blocks will slide as I drag the front one for each slide. So to do this kind of interaction, go to the prototype section. To prototype, in the first screen select the frontmost rectangular block that you want to disappear on drag. Drag the arrow to the second frame. Select on on drag from the interaction details. Select smart animate, ease and out and time to 500 for the animation settings. Follow exactly the same process for the second screen. Prototype it for the frontmost image of the frame. We are done setting the prototype details. Now select on the first frame and click on the play button. Let's wait for the preview. There you go, if I drag the frontmost image, it disappears and the next image slides in. In this video, we perfectly tried out both the types of interactions. To further learn the interactions, stay tuned for the next video of this series. Until then, follow and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.